Hello, I'm Rachel Jacobson, the Assistant Secretary of the Army for Installations, Energy, and Environment. October is Energy Action Month, where we take the opportunity to showcase the Army's leadership in energy conservation, advanced technologies, and partnerships to create resilience both on installations and operationally. Resilience enables readiness and strengthens national security. Which brings me to this year's theme, readiness through resilience. We focus on resilient installations for several reasons. First, sustaining and improving our installation's energy infrastructure is critical as we modernize and build the future force. Second, our installations are the small cities where our soldiers train and live. The Army must deploy worldwide from our installations at a moment's notice. We need to be able to do that under any conditions, regardless of what's happening outside the fence line. We cannot allow a disruption to the electric grid, whether it's from man-made or natural causes, slow us down or diminish our ability to fight and accomplish the mission. So just as smart city planners would plan for resilient cities, so too must we plan and implement for resilient installations. Third, Congress has required through multiple provisions of the National Defense Authorization Act that we maintain resilient installations, and they have given us numerous valuable tools to be able to accomplish this important objective. One of the most effective tools we have is our ability to draw on expertise in financing from partners to help achieve our installation resilience goals. We are working with industry and utility partners to provide our installations with reliable power for training and force projection, which directly enhances Army readiness. By way of example, this past August, I had the great honor of attending the ribbon cutting for a new 26 megawatt large scale solar microgrid project at Joint Forces Training Base Los Alamitos in California. This impressive project offers a model for maximizing installation energy resilience at the lowest possible cost to the taxpayer. The Army leased land to Bright Canyon Energy, our industry partner, and in turn, they build, own, and operate the solar microgrid project. In the event of a power outage, Los Alamitos has the equipment needed to turn that power inward to the base. It is enough power capacity to self-sustain critical missions for at least 14 days. And it is vitally important that Los Alamitos keeps the lights on, even if there's no electricity outside the fence line. Los Alamitos serves as the National Guard's disaster response hub for Southern California. So it is not an exaggeration to say that resilience on an Army installation can sometimes mean life-saving support to citizens. When it comes to our deployed forces, we know from experience that fueling the force is one of the greatest risks to the Army because our fuel lines are dangerously vulnerable to direct attack and sabotage, and fuel supplies can be compromised. Every drop of fuel we save helps protect our soldiers, strengthens our operational edge, and improves our strategic advantage. Access to fuel in the battlefield has become a risky endeavor. That is why the Army continues to promote research and development in advanced ground tactical vehicles, and combat technologies. In fact, these efforts have been going on for more than a decade. These research activities have examined solutions involving use of lighter materials, more efficient onboard power capabilities, and development of hybrid and all-electric systems. These technologies that have advanced from research to prototypes are very promising. We are already seeing fuel savings of up to 20% from our generators and anti-idle vehicle kits. We know that electric-powered tactical vehicles will have the advantages of increased range, faster sprint speeds, and lower thermal and acoustic signature, all of which will enhance our lethality on the battlefield. Our energy investments are key to force projection 
and will continue to pay dividends to the warfighter. Deployment of advanced energy technologies from hybrid engines and electric motors to microgrids and battery storage will make the Army more agile and combat effective and ensure our soldiers are ready and able to fight and win at home and abroad, regardless of whether threats come from our adversaries or the rapidly changing climate. In closing, we are proud of the enormous advances the Army is making to help our installations be more resilient and to give our soldiers the best energy efficiency technology available to gain superior advantage on the battlefield. We remain mission-focused and ready. Thank you.